Welcome once again to the passageway down the side of my house. This thing's on a motion sensor, so if you see me going like this, you'll know why. Just trying to keep the light on. Uh, just about to head out for a 5k easy run. And tonight's point for discussion is going to be about how living in a hilly area affects my ultra training. I've got four points to mention. You won't believe number four. <laughs> yeah, you will. That's just what YouTubers say to make you stick around till the end. Although you do have the option of just skipping to the end and finding out that point four isn't actually as interesting as advertised, but uh, I'll leave it with you. Anyway, better get on this run. It's absolutely freezing, like literally zero degrees. So let's go. So the first way in which living in a hilly area affects my ultra training is that easy runs are rarely as easy as I want them to be. It's pretty difficult to uh, keep your heart rate down throughout an entire run when you're going up and down hills all the time. I'm just over 100 meters into the run and already my heart rate's in the mid 130s. I stand corrected, 142. So yeah, keeping that down is gonna be a challenge, but we'll do what we can. Right, my heart rate alert's just gone off, meaning I've gone into zone three in the 150s. So I'm just taking a brief walking break while I talk about point two about training when you live in a hilly area which is the fact that my warm-ups are always uphill <laughs> so from my house in the very bottom of the valley there every road every direction leads uphill so if I start the run from home uh, it's always going to be a bit of a struggle to ease into the run uh, keep things easy and light and let the heart rate build up gradually because I'm going uphill straight away. I do have options to mitigate that, of course. I could walk a bit further away from home before I start my run, which I do sometimes. Just walk partially up the hill, so it's uh, less distance of uphill to begin the run. Or I could, in fact, drive somewhere else and run starting from a different location, which I do occasionally, but it's not my preference. So points one and two may seem like negatives, so to try to balance that out, point three, looking on the positive side, I get a lot of practice running up and down hills, which can be seen as a very good thing. Uh, obviously running up hills has benefits with leg strength and technique. Running downhills is a useful skill to have, and there are plenty of downhills on the route. Just have to be careful when they're icy and you're wearing the Clifton 8s, which aren't particularly grippy, I'm just finding out. Not too bad though. But yeah, getting that practice on the hills is something that not everyone has the opportunity to do near where they live. Some people have to travel to find hills and get the vert they're looking for for any reason. So uh, I am lucky in that regard. And then point four, the one that you've all been waiting for, involves a little bit of maths. So bear with me while I get the numbers straight. But I've signed up for this race, which is 625 meters of climbing. And uh, if you think about the run I did the other day, the eight kilometers, that was actually on one of the flattest routes I can find around here from home. And over the eight kilometers, there was about 90 meters of climbing just on that short run. So in effect, the race I'm training for, I couldn't really get much more specific in terms of vert training than what I did that night. Uh, the race is, about seven times longer than that 8k run seven eighths of 56 if i'm not wrong and if you multiply the 90 meters of vert by seven 630 the race is 625 so it's pretty much spot on <laughs> so if i just ran that 8k route seven times that would uh, replicate the climbing conditions of the race perfectly and given that the majority of the routes around here are even more hilly than what I did last night, then uh, that could only make me even stronger than I need to be for the race by running on those routes as well. So it really will come in handy in terms of specific training for the race I'm going to be running next year. So how about you and the area where you train? Uh, is it nice and flat where you live and do you appreciate 
the uh, ability to fix your effort and pace where you want without the uh, added uh, trouble of the hills or do you live somewhere hilly and really appreciate the fact that they give you some benefits that running on the flat maybe doesn't or uh, do you live somewhere flat and wish you had some hills I see that sometimes as well um, I think ideally I'd like to uh, be based somewhere where there's some flat, flat areas and you're not too far away from some hills and then you've got the best of both worlds but uh, we can only dream <laughs> so there we go then mission accomplished the plan called for 5k easy so I dialed it back slowed it down uh, the icy pavements <laughs> helped me to slow it down as well took it nice and easy uh, the heart rate monitor helped me to rein it in if I was misjudging the effort at any point and uh, yeah done a nice gentle run and tomorrow's long run I should be fresh and ready to go for 11k steady so thanks for watching guys I'll catch you in the next one if you do want to subscribe to the channel it is free just press the button and watch the subscriber count go up by one thanks a lot see you guys